this is Yusuf Haji at Haji Daily and we have ourselves today a breaking news as you all know um, this is in regards to feeding uh, our future um, for investigation and it's still ongoing and uh, so we just got a Sahan Journal reporting that Senator Omar Fateh um, has uh, got campaign contribution from people named in the alleged fraud. And um, so uh, it says uh, on uh, Sahan Jao, uh, another prominent Minnesota politician revealed to Tuesday that he had received campaign contribution from people listed in the federal, federal search warrant issued on investigation of alleged fraud against, against child nutrition program. Senator Omar Fateh, the first time Democrat representing South Minneapolis, said he received a total of 11 donations amounting to about $11,000. Seven which came, seven of, that, seven of that donation came from people directly named in the search warrants. As we all know, but no one has been charged as a result of investigation, uh, but still, Omar, Senator Omar Fateh, um, condemned, is condemning but what what did he do know? What did he know, and and how how involved in, is he in this um, um, in this in this issue? Uh, it seems that he knew more. Uh, but we'll wait on an investigation uh, to continue, and we'll probably find out more on his involvement into this alleged fraud. It's being alleged. Uh, but also, what Omar Fatah is doing uh, also is blaming the whole Somali business community in Minneapolis. As he came out and said, uh, in his own words, today I must come out against members of our own Minneapolis business community for their role in stealing millions of dollars from our children. You're not specific about who. You're not specific about who you're talking about. You're just generalizing the statement that you're providing here is blaming the Somali community for your own doing this is this is your program you advocated for this and you got in turn you received campaign donation from this so for you to throw this community under the bus by alleging or saying that you know connecting the whole minneapolis business community into this uh, i think is is, is wrong and and, uh, and 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 it should not be tolerated and i'm calling out on him on that as well uh, Omar is also saying anyone who participated in the scheme, uh, you know, you know, blah, 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 shenanigans. You know, you know how they say politicians, they know how to say. And by the way, it's not Omar Fatah talking directly to the community or everyone. It's, it's his campaign manager apparently speaking on behalf of Omar Fatah. So why isn't Omar Fatah out in front since he likes to be in front of cameras a lot and speak on important issues? Why can't he come and really talk about these issues and give a statement, a clear statement on his involvement into this alleged fraud. 11,000 is a lot of money. And, uh, and his campaign manager is out in front talking to Sahan Journal, giving statements. What the public wants to hear, they want to hear from Omar Fatah himself. We want to hear from Omar Fatah himself. Now let's get back to, uh, let's, back to let's get back to what is important here. Um, and, and, and this is why the Republicans will, will win majority in the House and Senate in this year election. And I've been, wanting, I've been saying this from, from two weeks ago, that we're giving the Republicans an opportunity, a way to get into uh, winning both the House and the Senate. And people like Omar Fatah are making it that, making it possible for these people to come in and blame a whole community and be, blame the DFL and blame every, every other elected DFL of, uh, uh, DF, DFL elected um, on, on into this. And, and, and it's very unfortunate. That, uh, um, and by the way, as you all know very well, uh, this political fault, fallout from this probe you know, alleging fraud, fraud, uh, tax their tax payers money being stolen. It's slowly also unfolding into a point where, you know, as you know, anyway, 
Omar Fatah does not mostly identify himself as a socialist more than a you know a Democrat, a DFL. So um, he's got his own identity crisis on where he really wants to uh, be counted on on some of these issues. But I think the the demo, demo, the democratic socialist um, uh, group in Minneapolis will clearly come out and um, really uh, push back on this uh, because. Clearly, they are, I, Omar Fatah is identifying uh, himself as one of them. The DSA should clearly say and state clearly um, where they stand on this with Omar Fatah, on this alleged fraud to, defi- to, to, to steal fr- from uh, our children in, in, in Minnesota. This DSA needs to clearly come out and give us statements on where they stand on this issue. Um, how deep is Omar Fatah involved in the alleged fraud by feeding of uh, children? Uh, did any of the people involved in the alleged fraud donate to his campaign? Which is, yes, he has admitted. He's got almost $11,000. What did he know and when did he know it also? That's what I want to ask Senator Omar Fatah. When did he know? When did you know? And how did you know? And when did you know? Uh, as you already know, there is uh, this, there was last week uh, after this um, investigation broke out, uh, Republicans, lawmakers in Minnesota legislature, are calling for more scrutiny of all federal and state coronavirus funds that have, that have passed through state agencies. Um, you got this guy from a Republican from Lino Lake, who chairs the Senate Education Committee, saying the following: the amount of money available to help Minnesota is staggering. There has always been concern with oversight. This money is supposed to help people, help kids, help small business. I appreciate the Department of Education diligence in reviewing these funds. I am sure other agencies and departments could use support for oversight. So I'm calling for an audit of all COVID-related funds and spending to all accountable bad actors. Um, House Minority Leader Cut Out uh, issued a similar call for review of all COVID-related funds. Uh, and asking the administration of Tim Walls to do so. So this is where we are. We need to be asking these questions. You cannot have some elected DFL Senate um, playing or alleging to be involved in such a fraud. It's not good for the state of Minnesota. It's not good for all of us as a community. And Omar Fatah has a lot of explanation on what his roles are and how did he directly or indirectly benefit from this alleged fraud. Thank you very much. This is Yusuf Haji. You can follow me more on at the Haji Daily. And thank you. Uh, wait for more. We'll let you know as we keep breaking this news. Thank you so much.